Hello guys, this is my first build log of the Hypercube design by Tech2C. This video will be all about the aluminum extrusion profiles and the frame. So I have all of these aluminum extrusion profiles 20 by 20 with an I-type slot 5. And the thing with those profiles is that those T-slot M5 hammer nuts from Banggood won't fit to, into these type of profiles. As you can see, those nuts are 10 mm wide, long, sorry, 6 mm wide and 6.2 mm on top. In this uh, geometry on top where you screw the screw in. But then I ordered the slot 6 Bosch type from this shop from eBay. I will post the link in the descriptions. Um, and those uh, extrusions and nuts just fit perfectly. As you can see, the profile I ordered before had a 5mm spacing on top, so those nuts won't uh, fit into this profile. I just managed to squeeze those uh, nuts into the profile but um, you can't really screw them together in a proper angle. So the other profile with slot 6, on the drawing it said it's 6 mm wide, this slot on top, but when you actually measure it, you might not see this on my trusted caliper, but if you measure it it's about 6.2 millimeters, which, as you can see, um, is just perfect for those nuts. And those nuts will even fit into the profile from the top. The shop. Um, had a quite nice delivery time of just two days and no extra cost of cutting. Concerning the cutting, you always have to pay some money as you can always um, only select pre-cut length of like 1 meter, 1.4 meters and then you have to tell the shop what length you need and the rest of the meter uh, will be spare will be wasted and you have to pay it but in my case it was just some centimeters so it was just some some euro cents um, it's okay I think because compared to the work you have uh, to cut it yourself I would always order them pre-cut because the cut will be always better by the manufacturer unless you have some guided saw which I don't really have Doing it by hand will not provide you with a clean result. I tried to make it myself and it was really hard to keep the right angle and I think if you don't cut it with a 90 degree angle your whole frame will be offset which is not really good. So this is just for your for information as I now have some profile is left over which I can really use only with other nuts and screws. Take care which extrusions you buy and check that they match the nuts and of course those screws. Everything should match together. Tech2C's instruction might be a little bit undetailed here because I think there are also different standards for those profiles even in different countries. I will now start with the assembly of the frame and I think I will be making a small time lapse of the process and just stop for little hints if I see that something goes wrong.
So, a short break of the time lapse. What I actually found here is uh, that the threading inside these T5, uh, M5 hammer nuts wasn't good. First, I thought uh, I had some bad screws, but it's actually uh, the hammer nut. So, I ordered a quantity of 200 hammer nuts. Um, there seems to be a little bit of a waste, some percentage. So, I will throw this one away. So guys, the frame is finished. It took me about one and a half hours to assemble it. Actually, I made a pause overnight because yesterday it was really late. Um, tip I can give you for assembling. First, assemble all the pieces. Try to look that everything is in a 90 degree angle. But I think um, in the end you always have to adjust everything so it won't wibble around. And I had about one millimeter here on the one side. So I loosened all the screws around here. And even on the top. And then I tried to keep everything in a 90 degree angle. And as I mentioned before it took me about half an hour to get everything in a nice angle so it won't wiggle and now you can see nothing is moving only the frame because it's really light it's not really heavy but I think with the power supply unit and with all the axes and the extruder and everything and the motors this will be pretty rigid so keep everything in an angle don't lose your nerves